Well, we now go back on track and we're going to go through the complete grid as quickly as possible because we have got the junior pre-final now back uh, underway after the red flag during uh, about 10 or so minutes ago. So starting from pole position for the pre-final for junior road tax, Dave Van Vyck and Boz Maximov will be on the front row. Thomas Verheyen and Rocco Kerr on row two. Bram van der Weyken will be joined by Eva Dodderstein on row three with Adam Vida. Lika van Verkel, Max Sadersky and Lars Lambers running out the top ten. Levi Dries, uh, Bodin Blankenberg, Jim Buck, Alexander van Muen, uh, Luca van, van Lier, uh, Niklas Nijs, Jod van Eklin, Nicola Machon, Henry Melchior and Tristan Shays ran out the top 20, completing the 28 strong. Israel Kivitzbosch, Ruden Engelsmann, Rick Koparal, uh, Temo Kupmans, Dave Stevens, Jake Menton, Vince Dries, and Fabian Rodman with Temo Kupmans might not have made it onto the starting grid for the start. Um, hasn't broken the timing beam, but we go on to the formation lap. Of course, the delay was due to the significant shift in weather conditions the heavens open and it pelted down from up above with uh, heavy rain so our race director called a red flag uh, before we even got them going and uh, Roy de Jonge uh, saying time to shine boys hashtag on boys maximum on the front row uh, good afternoon Jen Wade uh, as always, watching uh, very, very patiently with the streams. The friend within the Rotax family. So 10 minutes plus an additional lap. The red lights are ignited on the starting gantry. Here at Karting de Fang in Marienburg in Belgium. And about a 25 minute drive from the French border. Right, drivers are lined up in the customary two by two rolling start formation. There are a few stragglers at the back end of the field. So revs rise, lights are on. The start has been given the green light to go racing as, oh dearie me, that is going to be two off and into the barriers, one of which is the 266, Ava Dodderstein, collected as someone else was spinning around. Just goes to show how quickly things can turn on a sixpence and also turn on wet traffic, uh, wet tarmac as drivers are going to be using different racing lines. Ava Dodderstein has got the cart back onto the circuit. Tries to fire up the engine. Just uh, trying to... Look like it was the 2-2... No, yeah, 2 2 eight. Rocco Kerr uh, was the other driver involved in that incident as the field makes its way through into Escargot for the first time. Real shame for Ava Dodderstein. Uh, you know, we'd gotten up to... Uh, P5, uh, uh, P5 having started sixth but you can see the drivers are using the curb and uh, trying to make sure they get through and different racing lines being used oh and the two coming through shot out of the, the penultimate right hand right hander were literally wheel to wheel um, so Van Vyck leads Verheyen second Lambers third Van der Weyken and Sadursky round out the top five. Look at the differing racing lines that have been used. Well, no surprise at all. Dave Stevens uh, has made up 15 places at least on this opening lap. Could go for a, a, a bog off, a buy one, get one free. Gets one place, not quite two. Uh, Temo Kubman's non-starting. Uh, this race, but there is uh, Van Vyck, the race leader, Verheyen, and Lambert's just coming through into Chemin de Fau. And Jen, so, <laughs> thank you, Jen, for the lovely WhatsApp. Enjoying the racing and coverage here in downtown Austria, matey. 
<laughs> oh, good eye. <laughs> As they say, Jen. Um, but yeah, again, it's, oh, we've got blue flag situation coming in. Uh, so, well, Jot van Ekelen has dropped down to 27. That actually hasn't made it past sector number three yet. So, Ava Dorostein, uh, a difficult pill to swallow for, <coughs> for her after that unfortunate incident. So, it is a cat and mouse game. Oh, dearie me, Tay Stevens narrowly avoids, and I mean that sincerely, narrowly avoids. Well, he has a little bit of contact. Oh, and again, you can just see they're trying to... The, the, the problem is, in these weather conditions, when you've got wet weather tires, and you've got a... You pretty much, you can't do anything apart from change your tires... That cart will be on a dry setup. It will be uncooperative. It will be uncooperative. It won't work, want to work in harmony. As now we see, Dave Stevens up the inside at uh, Chemin de Fer. So again, it's just one of those things where one wrong move by somebody can cause dramas for somebody else, and that is very much the case when this happens, when this kind of situation happens. So there's going to be a lot of tinkering in, in some of the um, awnings that we've got here. So coming up to six minutes of this race plus an additional lap still to go. As Tay Stevens gets past on Alexander Van Muen in the 227, 227 who says, come on, just look, 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 hang on a second, we've got to get going. And then that is, I think that's Luca Van Leer. Yeah, that is Luca Van Leer just behind. Adam Vida for the Cartstool Benelux team. Rounds out the top ten, being followed by Levi Dries. Yellow flags at turn four. Oh, and someone's had a big old off. And is having to wait. And is going to drop down the order. Well, that just goes to show that you make a mistake. There's the blue flag situation. Someone else is staying off the racing line on the run through into Escargot. So, and there are attempts of overtakes being done. One has just been completed. I think that was from Adam Vida. We might have just gone through. We might have another couple of drivers possibly having an issue. I'm not sure. Just waiting for everything uh, to... The, the timing is having to catch up with, every, with, with everything, so it does happen. No, Adam Vida did not get past Alexander Van Muen. It was Luca Van Leer. Uh, Adam Vida just ahead of Levi Dries. Uh, Lars Lambers up seven places. Max Sadurski in fourth up five. Dave Stevens, 18 places gained from 25th now runs in P7. Four and a half minutes to go. As there are a couple of drivers I'm seeing that have dropped down the order. So there has been a pass on Adam Vida. That was by Levi Dries, who's just got all to just hit the curb on the exit of Chemin de Fer. The back end stepped out to the right hand side of saying, hello, remember me, I'm controlled by your throttle application. Uh, Rocco Kerr down 16 places, Lika van Berkel down 14 places, Claudine Blankenberg down 14 places, and looks like Edward Dorstein has, has ended, up, uh, ended up becoming a DNF, uh, according to the live timing I see in front of me. So the 266, great race one, with great heat, pre-final, mm, it's going to be a case of, I don't want to talk to anybody about it, that's the first thing that a driver will do, if there's been an incident where they've just gone like, just don't, just leave me alone, it just goes to show that that can happen in racing, but Thijs van Wyk has the fastest lap of the race, uh, two laps ago on lap three, one minute and uh, 13, 
Um, so today Stevens has got the most positions gained so far. One of the things about wet weather racing, now I haven't competed, I've not been a competitive driver. My life has been pretty much been um, watching by the sidelines and of course now being able to commentate on racing. I have all the admiration in the world, but it's just, you've got to look at how, how physically tired will these drivers be after 11 minutes plus a, a 10 minutes plus an additional lap. Then having all the pressure when it comes to red flag stoppage, change of weather conditions, get it back to the pits, put the tyres on and uh, get sent out there and see how it all transpires. It's just so, so difficult to, uh, in some res respects, comprehend. But we still do have some battles up for grabs. Boris Maximov, who was on the outside of the front row, has now got Dave Stevens. Uh, the Liskens, uh, thank you very much for that little shout out for Lars Lambers, currently in P3 from 10th on the grid. We've got a minute and 30, uh, five plus an additional lap still to go. So we'll only get let's have a look. Lap times 113. Oh, I think we might be in for another three more uh, three more laps because Matthias van Wyk, who now has a country mile lead as Thomas van Heijn crosses the strike, 8.3 seconds uh, behind. But Lars Lambers is closing in about 4.1 seconds off. Overtake on the black on the back marker being done through into turn number one. Alexander Van Muen has dropped out of the top 10. So who is that there? That is the uh, 249, Nuden, uh, Nuden Engelsman. Just trying to keep out of the way. Oh, deary, deary me, just, you, you've just got to be very, very careful. And so Den Engelsman stays out of the way on that one. There are actually a couple of drivers who are a couple of laps down, to be fair. Um, it's about making the best of a, of a tricky situation, and that's very much the case. So two laps to go. Thais van Vijk leading the way. No wetsuits. So that, uh, Tony, <laughs> that, that Tony Kart race suit is going to be apt. And hopefully, for, for days it's not going to be completely soaked and saturated. That's not one thing you want. But then it'll be a case of, OK, I've braved it out. So we have a time penalty. Bodine Blankenberg gets hit with a 10 second time penalty for pushing. Uh, that has been decided through race control. I have multiple cameras with which to view the racing action out on circuit. So So this time around, we will have the uh, last lap board coming out. And Dave Van Wyk, started from pole position, has been very much top, uh, head and shoulders uh, uh, ahead of everybody else. And that has very clearly shown. Expect the gap to be close to 11 seconds by the end of the race. Last lap underway, Van Wyk dealing with chronic understeer. Trying to rotate the car through the cart through turns one and two. It's just about calmly getting things done. Ten and a half seconds is the lead for the 246 running with uh, Bouvin. Top eight covered by 23 seconds. And into Chemin de Fer for the final time here on lap 10. Thais van Wyk has absolutely done a number on everybody else. Whilst a few lost their heads, he didn't lose his. Kept it nice and calm and cool and collected. Out of Escargot for the final time. It's just going to be calm and cool as you like. As Van Vyck now will go through into the final right-hander. 
and it's going to be the power up the hill and across the line. And the winner of the Junior Rotax pre-final, Thijs van Vijk takes the checkered and wins by an absolute country mile. Could have been over the border in France by now, I think. Thomas van Heijen will take second and has yet to cross the, has crossed the line now. Uh, Lars Lambers rounds out third, Max Sadursky fourth, fifth. Day Stevens from 25th on the grid. Last ever season, if I remember correctly, from Day Stevens in juniors and will move to seniors next year. Bran van der Weken and Boris Maximov ran at the top seven ahead of Luca van Dier. Levi Dries, Jake Menton, Aaron Vida, they ran at the top 11 ahead of Fabian Lurman. Uh, Tristan Shays, Alexander van Muen and Jim Back completing the top 15. Rick Oporal and Rocco Kerr round out the top 17 positions with Lika van Berkel in 18th, 19th Nicolas Machon, uh, 20th is Vince Dries and uh, Nicolas Nyes round out, rounds out 21st, waiting for the last few finishes to come across the line. Right, Ryan Kiewitz Bosch 24th, Bodin Blankenberg uh, 22nd, Henry Melchior 23rd. So Bodin Blankenberg is going to be a little bit, well, he's going to be 23rd at the end of it. Uh, Jort van Eglin, uh, Nud den Engelsman are the last of the classified finishers with Eva Dorosan out after the early incident on lap one through turn one and Temel Kubmans a non-finisher, a non-starter, sorry.